We never meet the standards of others without it. We don't even meet the standards that we have for ourselves without it. Grace. Get it as you get it. Man said that the squeaky wheel, I gotta complain because the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Y'all leaving? We go with y'all. 
We don't, I don't know where y'all going, but we come in also. So there were people who weren't Israelites who followed the Israelites out of Egypt. And the Bible says that it was these people who stirred up the trouble among the Israelites. They, these were the people who first complained. Now, now, now these rabbles are the people who came and they said, well, when we were in Egypt, we didn't have to work and we were fed the nicest of meals. And, and it starts to wear on the Israelites. You say, they start thinking about, you know what? Maybe it's not so bad being back in Egypt. The problem is that they don't understand is the Egypt that you left. <laughs> Is not the Egypt that you once lived in. Amen. There is no going back. Amen. The, the water is probably still blood. The crops is probably still gone from uh, the locusts and uh, the frogs. The, 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 the stench of death is probably still in the air there. It, it's not what you think it is in your head. But sometimes the wrong person will get in your ear and have you think, you know what? Even, even though things aren't terrible, I'm mad because they're not bad. Amen. And, and, and we start to complain about things that we shouldn't even complain about. Uh, if, if we had just a little awareness, we, 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 we would know, as the Israelites uh, should know that, with, with a little awareness, maybe it's not feasible for us to have the expectation of having fish in the desert. Oh, I've got a taste for fishing, and I, I want fishing. Uh, the, the, the problem is they never miss a meal. Amen. It's not that they're out there and they're starving and they're hungry. Their bellies are full, but they're complaining about what they're not getting. You have enough, but you complain about what you don't have. Amen. God said when he saw this greed among them, it kindled the fire inside him. He, he, he got angry about that. And, 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 and any parent, any father, any mother, any, anybody in here have ever spent your time cooking and, 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 and making a meal and preparing the table and sending it out before the children and the children say, ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> or I don't want that. I grew up in a time where it was like, well, if you don't eat that, then for dinner you will eat sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and if you get hungry enough, it'll be here waiting for you. And, and, and I can imagine God's anger sometimes with us. God has blessed us in many ways. Some of us more than others, but all of us have our blessings. And, and, and God has blessed us and he has kept us, he has provided for us. We, we have not begged bread, neither have our sons and daughters, and God has not forsaken us, but we still complain. And, and, and the issue with the complaints is that they, their complaints weren't specific. That, that, that made you complain was things were better back in the day. But were they? <laughs> were they? We like to, to, to fantasize or nostalgia takes over our mind to think of a, a fonder time, but when we were living in those times, we couldn't wait to get past them. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Okay, okay, okay. They, they, their complaints are all over the place. Isn't it? What, what's your complaint? Well, we ain't got meat. We ain't got cucumbers. We ain't got onions. Uh, we ain't got this. But are you hungry? Or are you stuck? No, but we ain't got this. And then and the, the, the second step in the and, and filing the complaint, they said, to, to get what you want after making your complaint specific, making your, uh, the point you're trying to get across specific, the issue you want to address specific is you have to be very clear on what you want to achieve. So the Israelites, they complained, they said, 
Oh, we we ready to go back to Egypt. Now what did God listen to their complaint and said, okay, go back to Egypt. Those of you who desire to go back to Egypt, go. Go. How many people do you think would have went? You think they would have went, really? I've heard people who complain for the sake of being complained to, to complain, and you give them the option to go, and they still stand there. Well, if you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> well, if you don't like it, you can go. The door opens in and it opens out. You're free to go. You're not locked in here. And it, this is, uh, they, they weren't very clear on what they wanted to achieve. It, they just said they wanted something different. So, so God says they, they, they want it for the wrong reasons. And I'm going to give them what they want. You know, sometimes you ought to be careful <laughs> about what you ask for. And sometimes too much of a good thing can be bad. So, so, so God, which is a, a, a natural event that takes place once a year or a month, is the migration of the birds. The birds would usually go gather around the outskirts of Egypt and uh, around those areas, but I, I can imagine maybe the, the Bible says that it, it's a wind that came and steered the birds instead of going further south to, to land in the desert. And, and it, it, they were uh, birds outstretched, uh, it said almost daily, 10 birds per person. Uh, so you, you have birds stacked up and everywhere, and people were so excited. And, and they ate, but the Bible says that God got furious with the people who overate, mm -hmm. who, who were, who God provided for them uh, and gave them what they wanted, but the Bible says God would get uh, upset because they were being greedy. And, 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 not, and, and, and not being greedy because things would run out because God had already told them things would not run out. You have a whole month to, to, to enjoy meats until your belly is full. So God sent the quail, but it says people were, were hoarding uh, the birds and one person was grabbing 10, 15, 20 and gathering them to their tents. Try, trying to hoard them for themselves, not understanding that God said, I have enough for everybody. Amen. If God says he has enough for everybody, then why are you trying to hoard everything to yourself? That, that shows your lack of trust in God. That, that, that when, when you have that fear that, well, it, it, it may run out. I, I, I may not have it. And, and, and God says, well, well, while they were eating it, those who were greedy and those who were gathering more than they needed and those who were storing more than they needed, not trusting that I would continue to provide because God had already done this continually. The manna fell daily, daily. God said, don't store the manna, don't store the manna. Uh, on Saturday, on the Sabbath day, uh, for the day before the Sabbath, you gather enough for two days, but you don't gather more than that. Trust that I will provide you your daily bread. So, so, so if, you're, if you're hoarding and you're scoring, that means you're not trusting me. Amen. Make sure, third, make sure you're complaining to the right person. Amen. So be specific on your complaint. Be clear on what you want to achieve. By complaining and make sure you're complaining to the right person. The people complained to Moses. And Moses was tired of hearing their complaints. He was so tired, he said, God, I don't want to hear them no more. Just kill me. <laughs> Just take my life now. <laughs> it's deep, ain't it? I am tired. I am worn. Some, some people complain so much, you want to hurt them or hurt yourself. <laughs> it, 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 it says, to make sure you're complaining to the right person. You know the last person?
person we tend to complain about too? It's ourselves. Amen. Sometimes the right person to complain about the issues to is to yourself because you're the only person who has the power to change them. Amen. Amen. It's not always somebody else's fault. Sometimes, there's an old song President of East Westbrook used to play. It's called, I'm Looking at the Man in the Mirror. And sometimes, when we, 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 we file our complaints, the, the first person we need to address it to is ourselves. Amen. We have to look at ourselves in a situation and say, what could I have done better? To keep the peace between me and my brother, between me and my sister, what could I have changed? Is it too late for me to change that? Can I reach out to them and apologize? Can I ask for their forgiveness? Can, can I do something about me to keep the peace? We want to complain to people who have, sometimes in many situations, no power to change anything. Amen. Amen. We all know that, friend. Who will, <laughs> who will call you before they ask you how you doing they tell you how terrible everything is Amen. they got all the bad news yes. before they say hello mm -hmm. girl you won't believe this <laughs> <laughs> oh I believe it's coming from you <laughs> make, make sure we're complaining to the right person I, sometimes I will get <laughs> Frustrated with my wife, my wife would be frustrated with me sometimes when she would complain about things. And I, and I feel like, like, what do you want me to do about it? What can I do about it? And just listen. But, but a man's nature is like, how can I fix it though? I, I, can't, I can't fix it though. Like, you didn't want me to hear you? Okay. Okay. And, 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 and the next step, the fourth step, after being specific, uh, with your complaint, after uh, knowing what you want, uh, as a result, and complaining to the right person is to take your own emotions out of it. This is where most of us fail. Amen. <laughs> Or we wait until we're angry to complain. Mm -hmm. Instead of telling people when the issue is small, you know what that kind of bothers me. Okay. Sometimes I used to have this issue. We think people are mind readers. We supposed they supposed to know when things are bothering us. And, and, and we wait until we get to our last straw. <laughs> <laughs> and we tell them that they and, 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 and they're just shocked. Like, if I would have known that this bothered you, I wouldn't have done it. Or I would have stopped it sooner. Uh, and, and so, when we complain, don't complain in our anger or in our frustration. Um, like, speak about things before they become an issue. Sometimes, we like to complain about things after the fact, or complain about things that have gone on forever. You ever been in a relationship with someone and, and you establish your ground rules and they know your quirks and the weird things about you up front, and you lay those things out up front, or they can clearly see those things, and then you're in a serious relationship, and then years later they're complaining about those same things. Like you knew how it was from the jump. <laughs> from the jump. Mm -hmm. it says, be prepared to. Uh, 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 that's the next step is, is about being prepared. So when you file a complaint, be prepared to show receipts. Like this is bothering me. This is a problem. And, and we can't just complain when things happen one time. Especially if you're in a long term relationship with someone. You can't complain when things happen one time. You know that one time when you left the toilet seat up, 
You know the one time <laughs> when you left the socks or you left the, the top off the two. You know that one time. You, you, we, we, when it happens the one time, sometimes you have to have the grace to brush it off. Not just brush it off until other things pile up and then you bring that back up. No, brush it off with grace forever. It's, it's when things uh, become an issue over time that consistently happen. So if, if it's rare, then it should not be prioritized above things that happen daily.